It was made from love. This is store bought. I'm not gonna eat no more. Hi, my name is Valerie, and I am a mother of three. And I've been making banana pudding for probably hmm, longer than my kids have been alive. So, over 30 years. Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm a mother of two, and I have been making banana pudding for over 10 years. Hi, my name is Kadesia. I'm a mom of a three-year-old girl, and I've made banana pudding a couple times. The key to great banana pudding is balancing the sweetness. One thing I know is after, you know, a few years of making banana pudding, I realized that it's really important that you kind of take a little of the bad stuff out. So guess what? I don't use cow milk. Coconut milk is what I do. I absolutely have to add certain things from my culture just to spice it up a little bit. Nutmeg, I know guys use nutmeg, but we use it in almost every sweet dessert. I teach myself basically everything. So one day I had a craving for banana pudding and I decided, go for it, make it. And I did, and it was great. I semi self-taught. My mom used to make banana pudding decades ago for me. And I decided one day, oh, I wanted to make it myself. So I put a little twist to an old fashioned family recipe. I am Jamaican, so we don't really have that there as like a dish. So I actually went on YouTube and looked at a few videos and picked out the one that had some great comments and reviews under it. I am confident. I absolutely think I can pick out my banana pudding. My banana pudding. My banana pudding. In a blind taste, taste test. test. Smells like vanilla wafers. Smells like banana. It's pretty good. Tang. The texture is a little more firmer, but I actually like this texture. This is Jello brand pudding. This is not from scratch. It's not too milky. The wafer is like just the perfect texture. It's not like crunchy. It's not soggy. The best part of the dish is the crust. But they they tried. I guess they was in a rush. That's how that worked. Let me see, hold on. This dish has some personality to it. It's smooth. I would like it to be a little smoother. You know, I won't be a hater. It wasn't bad. I'm, I'm not gonna eat no more. What I like about it is that it's Jell-O brand pudding. What I don't like is that it's Jell-O brand pudding. The worst part of the dish, it's not mine. I would give it a seven and a half. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give it a four. That's, that's, that's the best I could do because I'm generous. Eight. Now this smells better. It smells fresh. So far it smells like banana pudding, but not heavy on the banana. That's a lot of banana. Mmm. <laughs> This is good. The fresh sliced bananas. This is not bad. This is pretty good. Wait. Maybe I'm hungry. Hold on. This is good. They had a lot of banana, but I get a meld of the banana, the wafer, and the pudding does not taste like milk. Now, at first, I was like, wait, maybe I just picked in the wrong place. It had a lot of banana, but it's good. This is a lot of bananas. I feel like maybe there could be a, a little more cream, maybe just to add some dimension to the taste. Whoever sliced these bananas, they, I feel like they did it with their heart. Tastes like at least it was made from scratch. This is good. This might be mine. The banana is very overpowering. I'm not tasting that uh, crust. I didn't get a crunch of a cookie. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I kind of come down a point on it because of that. I would say 8.5. This is pretty good. I give it an eight. I would give it a solid five. Smells like crackers. This right here smells like banana. All right, this one smells good. This is why I don't use cow milk, because I taste the milk. This is it. This has to be my pudding. 
This is really good. If it's not my pudding, then someone is out here switching dishes. On the taste, they tried. They did try. I feel like I'm tasting the old routine. I think this is me. This is the winner. This is a great texture and consistency. I think this is how it should be. It was made from love. The pudding is, it's fairly smooth, actually. I don't know if that means they made it with store-bought, but it is pretty smooth. This is really good. If this is not mine, then I need the recipe. The worst part about the dish is the overpowering taste of milk. I can't even lie. This person did very well. With the taste of milk like that, I'm gonna say maybe a six. I'll give it a nine. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 9.5. Not a 10, because I'm not sure if it's mine. But if it is mine, then it's a 10. I think mine was the second one. I'm hoping that the first one was mine. It's between two and three. I really feel like it's number three. I better be right. <laughs> that was mine. I knew that was mine. <laughs> it was three. Yeah! If mine does not win today, I don't know what kind of palette y'all got, okay? But all I know is if your taste is your own, and you choose your own, that's because it's your own and you taste it, you know what it tastes like. I think I stand a very good chance at winning. After trying all of the banana puddings, I think I'm still winning because this one is the best and the other two were close, they were great, but they were not number one. It's okay, get the recipe from me. Oh my gosh, I am so excited that I won. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew I was gonna win. Competition, I tried to tell you. I make the best banana pudding. Listen, sophisticated palettes are not for everyone. I get it, it's okay. Sadly, the competitors don't know a fantastic banana pudding when they see one. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I hope you guys have a great day, as you should and as you deserve. And thank you for watching.